Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today I went outside to drink my coffee and heard the craziest sound you would ever hear. Guess what I heard when I was drinking my coffee? Sitting on the porch, drinking my coffee, minding my own business. Guess what I heard? What? Guess. I heard the craziest sound you could ever hear. From a chicken. I heard cock a doo doo oh. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so yeah, I heard our rooster out there. If there were any doubts before, which they're not, they're not anymore because there aren't any more because yeah, he was cock a doo doo and I love that though. It's a baby cock a doo doo was not a real one. Anyway, today is horse camp day and so now, Today, you're gonna get to see what extreme lengths parents go to to get their kids to horse camp because yeah, we have a lot of time, we have a lot to do between now and dropping them off. First thing, breakfast. We have two boxes of dino eggs oatmeal. That means you guys have not been eating dino eggs oatmeal. But Kaylee bought this kind yesterday. She picked out maple and brown sugar. And then I introduced her to the fact that you can put raisins and maple and brown sugar and it tastes amazing so we bought those too okay you guys we are ready for outfit of the day advanced camp edition first we have sophia who is not actually going to advanced camp this outfit was inspired by the fact that her mother is behind on laundry and she had no outfits to wear that she wears every single day so she had to search through her closet turn around and her drawer to find something different to wear. And so you will see a shirt she's never wore before in her life that has been sitting in her closet for two years. Yes, that is what this outfit is. Turn around. Navy on navy. Beautiful. And her hair is still being brushed. Go finish brushing your hair. Advanced camp outfit number two. You have Gabby who is uh, wearing her olive green today and her gray pants. Hmm. Why are you asking is she wearing gray pants? Well, that's because she wears gray pants every single no, day. I only wear these pants with every base layer. You always wear base layers. Yeah. Always. Do you have a t-shirt packed in your bag? Yes. Okay, so yes. turn around. She also has got burgundy socks on because, yeah, that's how she They're rolls. Plum. Plum. Everyone, you plum socks. Yes, and her. And I have my phone that's rose gold. Yes. And she also is sporting a backpack that has all of her swimwear and her change of clothes, her shorts. And I'm also sporting this belt that I got for my birthday. She's also sporting so a white Molly belt. Chloe. Yeah. Thank you very much. Outfit of the day. Camp edition. We have Kaylee here. She has a navy shirt, tan breeches, bright green socks. Uh, she is also sporting her lunch. She's got a brown also belt. Sporting belt that, that a subscriber sent us which we gave to her so because it didn't fit us and it's her lucky belt so that is amazing she is also sporting her, new boot, her new boot bag with her new tall boots in it super cool that is amazing Storm, I know you're all alone, but not for long. We are about to pick up your best friend, and you. The just went in my face. You and oh, he, they have no hay. I know. You didn't here. Get the hay from down there and fill his bag. You guys might not know, but Storm doesn't eat in the trailer, and some people think he that it's. Eat. But he hasn't had breakfast. Okay, only we have to pick up hay from down there. And give it to him, or else he will not eat. It. Yeah, he's picky. If there's hay left over in the hay bag. He won't eat that. He will shove his mouth in it and eat it. Okay, fill it up because you're probably gonna need it at camp. You won't. Oh gosh. So you guys might not know this, but at advanced camp they do crazy things. So they'll be traveling. They're going to another barn with all the horses to go cross country schooling, and you better believe I'll be asking people to get me a video. Do you have your fanny pack? No. I texted you down there. Where is it? I don't know. Somewhere. Okay, it's somewhere. Because we're gonna have to, are we switching their spots? Yeah, I'm gonna Tex is taller. Okay, yeah. Tex is 16 and he's 15. So yeah, when we get there, we'll have to take Storm out and 
And put text. And put text in there. Do you need help with this? Like, yeah. Alright, so yes, they'll be going uh, cross country schooling. They'll also be going swimming with their horses, right? Maybe. Maybe. They will also be sleeping over at some point. Um, and they are doing a lot of fun things with their horses. All right, let's close it up. Let's go. We're gonna have to give him his breakfast in here. We'll be right back with your breakfast. But look, Tex is like, look at me, buddy. Lots of good smells for you. Don't worry, we're not leaving you, Storm. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, the cutest little booty. <laughs> You're so cute. I don't know, you have to close it because Storm will get out. Yeah, he likes to stick his head over. We need a stall like that. Okay. That's genius. Gabby brought her own hook to put over the stall with all her own stuff. And Kaylee's. And Kaylee's. And I think that was genius thinking. Okay. So let's give them hay. So we're going to give them their whole day's daytime worth. Yeah. Put it in the bucket. Oh, that's cool. That's such a good idea. I want that. Because then they're not dragging it all over. Okay, so yeah, so it's good to leave them eating because then it's when you're eating, it's hard to get stressed out. Yeah, we'll Mom, have to bring I'm more gonna tomorrow. Take a double sided clip so I can hang his bucket up right here while he's Oh, yeah, we need to give them water. Oh, we're so grateful to be able to leave our horse here. Like, this is such a kind thing that they have done for us. So, this is our hay. <laughs> Sophie. Are you sad you're not going to advance camp? You don't want to, yeah, we found out that they might be braiding. Fiona said, bring your braiding stuff. And they're like, heavy and fat. And they're like, oh no, I hate camp. <laughs> this cat actually hunts. I bet you they have a braiding competition. Okay, let him down. He says he wants down. It is scary leaving your horse someplace else. I mean, I trust him there. I trust everything about barn there I trust the owners I trust Fiona like I know he's in good hands and even more I know he loves Tex. Tex and Storm Tex is probably the only horse on earth that Storm has ever really connected with and loved and Tex has like a needier personality he's like Storm Storm let's be friends and Storm's more like uh, I don't know how to explain it but they get along really well and um, I wanted to tell you guys something else about all the journey that Sophie, you know, that the journey that Gabby and Storm are going on right now, the one where they're kind of not connecting and Gabby's unhappy or Storm's unhappy and they need to get happy together. The thing about Storm, you guys might not know, is that he was a very beloved horse his whole entire life. He's had three owners and I know two of them. He was bred by people who loved him. He has always been a very cherished, a very, very well taken care of horse very loved and each one of his owners that have sold him have sold him because they said he's not happy doing what they want. Isn't that crazy? Those were the words that they 
said to me, both of them, one did dressage and jumping, and one did Western Pleasure, and all, and both of them said he was not happy with what I asked of him. And here we are, a year later, and we're finding that Storm is not happy with what we're asking him. But I wanted to tell you guys that this is what's different this time. His owners were amazing. They got him where he is. He's an amazing, incredible horse. But what's different is that we will always have somebody in our family that is do that needs Storm for what Storm likes to do. We'll always have grandkids that will want to ride. We'll always have friends. There will always be me because I don't care about jumping. I don't care about going fast. There will be Sophie. There will be, there's never going to be a time, I don't think, that we won't have somebody that will want to do what Storm wants to do. So that hopefully is the difference then, like when you have a horse and he doesn't want to do what you don't, what you want to do, and you're boarding a horse, it's a whole different ball game. But we have a little farm, and he can always be with us. We will always have somebody that wants to do what he wants to do, even if Gabby spends her entire life trail riding that boy, taking him on adventures, doing whatever. We will always have a place for Storm because we will always have somebody who wants to do what Storm wants to do. Okay, so the guy is here doing hay, right? Listen to how bad the deal is with hay. If you don't have your own equipment, which we will have our own equipment <laughs> eventually, I promise you that because listen, it costs us $4 to go and buy hay. So it costs us $4 for a bale. If we go pick it up, bring it here and feed it to our horses. It costs us $3.50 to have them do our hay. So when they come and they cut our hay and bale it up for us, we have to pay them $3.50 for each bale. That's how much it costs. So we are saving 50 cents a bale. We have to put it in our barn and store it and lift it and carry it. So we have to do all the labor of like, we have to do half of the labor and we're only saving 50 cents a bale. I'm like, yeah, that's ridiculous. That's like, that's not, that's I, like, Highway robbery, that's what that is. I like this gray set. Do you like it? Not that comfy. Is it? It's comfier than ours. No, anyway, ours is comfier. You sink in for We are shopping because we need to get a part for my car. We need to get a part for my car. Sam can fix it, so that's really lucky. Sophie wants to do 24 hours in Home Depot. She just found the spot. You just lay down in there. You just lay down, no yeah. One yeah, YouTube turns people into law-breaking citizens. That is against the law, what? sister. Yeah, that'd make a nice bed, though. Imagine. Just... Yeah, that'd be perfect. Do you ever do that thing where you look at the kitchens and design your new kitchen? I like this. Right. Now that is a cupboard. Look how massive it is. I want that. That's a great pots and pans cupboard. I don't like it. I like white. But I like this sink. This is gorgeous. So we bought some candy and some chocolate for Fiona. And I'm going to bring some water down. I already have water. I just haven't brought it down. But anyway, I can't wait to show you guys something so cool. Right, we're taking Willow for a little walk. This is what always happens to me. I get hay in my shoe and it feels like, feels like bugs. Anyway, so yeah, they didn't cut this because I don't even know why. There's not really a reason. So when we came home, we discovered all the hay. So it's over there in a big, huge thing. This bale is tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. That's how they rip you off even more. Like that is not. That is not. A... Hey, I can carry this bale. I can carry that. So, technically, we're paying $3.50 for this little tiny bale. That's a half of a bale that we pay $4 for. All right, so this truck is filled with normal size bales. We have this big, huge truck, and then we have the one down there. Do 
do not have what it takes to be a farm girl. I don't. I need to be rich so I can hire people to do all the work because this is crazy. Double hockey sticks. But actually it was not that bad, other than the fact that it's disgusting. Hey, like I'm sitting here now in the breeze. This is the coolest part of the whole barn. <laughs> See Sylvie's hair is blowing in the breeze. Poor Sam's out. Poor Sam's out there. He has to bring in the other trailer. I'm gonna show you guys. Alright, so this is some of the hay. Remember how beautiful it looked when we had when we used to buy hay and it was all nicely put together and it was just nice in here? Well, yeah, that's what that looks like. And then out here, so this is more of it. This is so this is the first half, all this stuff, and there's some up there. Um, what was disappointing is that all this stuff is all just loose hay. Like it just was it just terrible mess. Like, what do you do with that stuff? This is what you do with it. <gasps> She's like, hey! Oh no, they need more water again. You guys are hot today. When, when we buy hay, it's always nice, beautiful hay. Always nice, tight, put together. And so, all you can do is just say thank you and pay and then just find somebody else. But like I told you before, it's hard to find somebody. It's hard to find somebody anybody at all let alone somebody who does a good job but anyway it is what it is look at that's so cool so you made a bracelet that is storm's tail and it's so thin Bye. it's like storm's tail Did we tell you that we're yeah home. we have to go home we have to go home wait till you see the heck that is at home wait, we're all staying at your trailer on thursday night are you guys gonna be there or did you find out that fiona told you okay good schedule today schooling here tomorrow schooling here um, Wednesday. Wednesday, cross country. Cross -country. Cross -country. Thursday, Thursday picnic. trail ride picnic. picnic. And Friday, we're staying here and doing. Shush! You're not supposed to. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, are we coming to watch? Is there a show? Yes, sir. No, but you're no. not allowed to know that. Okay, no, I don't know what that means. And you forgot you're sleeping at the trailer, which will be fun. Wait, on picnic day, yeah. Are, wait, is everybody going to be there? Are you Not us. There? We oh. won't be there. It'll just be your, your camp. Look, there's just a horse's tail on the ground. All right, let's go. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.